Hello, hello guys, welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is Gift Bozekana. So this is our first episode of Serious Courses. Right. <laughs> I know probably it's striking you. What is a serious course? Okay. So basically in this episode, what I will be doing, I will be doing a research, individual research of the courses that I like to believe that they are in demand and you, there is a what? You have a secured uh, a future with them. That's what we'll be doing. I will be doing the entire December. So keep just just subscribe if you are in grade twelve or you, you want to switch courses and stuff because this is what I'll be doing the entire December so that we can do the research together so that you get more info about what you want to study or what you've applied for. So that you know, I'm still going to do other courses as well so that you don't see yourself serious. Then you have some warning there, the advantages of doing it and disadvantages of doing it, right? But the main focus is for students to do serious courses. So basically now we will be focusing at the University of Free State. We'll start with the bars there, which is Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery known as MBCHP. So if you want to become a doctor, you are going to be enrolled in this particular program. Uh, before we can continue further, just watch this brief video about the health science uh, faculty of UFS, and then we will continue talking about the requirements and other important aspects of this particular degree. Just watch. Now you have an idea about the health sciences faculty at UFS, University of Free State. So with this program of medicine, they are going to take 180 students, right? Within, within that 180, 80% 80 of the students are going to be the ones that are from high school, fresh from grade 12, that have not enrolled in any university, right? You know, and those who took gap year will be considered as grade 12. They will be in that 80%. And then the 20% will be of those who have been in varsity or those with the degrees, right? So it's very important that if you want to study medicine and they rejected you at first, you see your results are good, rather than rushing to university, because others, they choose to study a BSc degree, now they want to switch to medicine. Now the competition is going to be tight for you. 
and the best option is to take a gap year or go and repeat your grade 12 right and then reapply again you will be considered as a grade 12 learner from grade 12 in this program uh, medicine and like now you are in that 20 percent category imagine a lot of people they want to get into the program and the competition is too tight now they are also saying that in this program they require 36 ap score so you need level five in maths level five in physics but let me be honest with you with a 36 ap score getting in is not gonna be a, a smooth sailing right because they are students with distinctions right you know with distinctions and everything and that so it's very important that you put your all into your studies so that you can get those distinctions probably they will do the first uh, provisional with grade 11 and they take nbts into consideration right when they are making selection if you didn't write an nbt it's gonna be tough but there are universities that do not take nbt into consideration they just look at your high school marks only right so i'm still gonna engage about those universities which universities are those so i said they said you need 36 ap score but please let me promise you you need distinctions for those who, who are in that category of 20 percent from university and stuff they are going to take 20 percent of them so if it's 108 right so 20 percent it means 20 about 40 something students so the competition is tight for those who are in university. so hence it's very important and they need a minimum average of 75 percent from your degree 75 percent average minimum average of 75 percent from your degree if you are a university student or you've completed your degree and now you want to switch and go and study medicine at the university of free state studying medicine at university of free state i think is the only university out of the 10 medical school in south africa is the only medical school that is five years only five years you are a doctor it takes only five years uh, to finish at ufs right so after you complete your medical degree uh, that's where you have a title doctor and then you have to complete a internship of 24 months so that's two years during which you will rotate between the number of discipline right and then you complete one year of community service right so after that you can specialize and become a specialist so i hear others say i want to be a neurosurgeon i want to be a pathologist whatever i want to be a every this specialty is cardiologist everything guys it starts with that program of mbchp which is six years in other universities and then uh, in other in ufs is only five years right is that ufs is the only university that does medicine in five years in south africa right so yeah you start with that program then you do uh internship so you are getting paid the money is you can buy your nice car your nice house Miana. and then after you can choose to specialize work in a private sector you can open your own practice you know you can work in public sector so to say all the best to everyone who will be accepted at University of Free State to become a medical doctor in the future. And it will be one of the best decisions we've ever made. Uh, fingers crossed, be accepted and start the your dream course. course. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I wish you all the best, but nothing but the best. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a nice comment. I'm still coming with other universities and other courses as well. Thank you.